I am Ferrari, your guide about the lovely place that is the Massachusetts Bay Colony, home of the Puritans. Puritans are, are a religious group that believes in the almightiness of God and divine grace and basically being very, very religious. John Winthrop was the founder of the Massachusetts Bay Company and came here in March of 1630 with a thousand other Puritans. Many followed and they were distributed 50 acres of land as they came or if they had invested in the company, they were given 200 acres of land. Winthrop was elected our governor a few weeks ago on August 23rd, 1630. Hmm. Why don't I introduce you to a couple of our towns, townsfolk? Follow me. This man here goes by the name of Tom. He's the ta town typing man. What's a typing man, you ask? Well, I'm sure Tom would be happy to tell us about it, wouldn't you, Tom? No, not really. My job is to watch over 10 families in our town and to make sure that they are attending church every Sabbath day. On the Sabbath, no one is allowed to do anything that may distract them from thoughts of God. I must make sure that no one, children included, are dancing, playing, or in general being happy. <clears throat> or gambling for that matter, actually. And if you fall asleep during the sermon, watch out. Um, thanks for that, Tom. <laughs> now, I think we should go take a look at the village. Hooray, what are you wearing? Um, it's a scarf. Take it off this instant. How can you wear something that is above your station? We Puritans are not allowed to wear silk. If we are farmers, it's like lying about whom we are, which God disapproves of. Okay, Abigail, whatever you say. Thank you. Anyway, as I was saying, let's go take a look at some of the village children. We're busy! We have to do as much work as the adults do, sometimes even more. There's six or seven of us to a family, but we still work hard. We need to go to school to learn to read and write because we believe that you need to be able to read it and understand the Bible to be a good Puritan. If we eat with our families at the table, we aren't allowed to sit down or speak unless spoken to. We aren't allowed to dance or have that much fun. If we're caught being bad, we get beaten. Spare the rod, spoil the child. That's what our elders say. Oh, all right then. Let's go and see. We found a witch, Mary Potter. And how do you know she's a witch? Well, we don't really, but she hasn't been attending church regularly. She talks to herself, and some people are claiming that her specter is attacking them at night. And she turned my husband into a newt. I saw him in the fields. He looked all right then. You call him that, sir. Well, I guess that's proof enough. Burn her. Gentlemen, is a prime example of what really happens all across the world these days. Innocent women killed because of a few missed church services and neighbors who dislike them. Just had to think about it, really. Oops, well, I'm afraid it's all we have time for, unfortunately. Sorry we couldn't spend more time together. Thanks for joining me today, and remember, if you want to worship God every minute of every day and eliminate all Catholic influence from the Anglican Church, be a Puritan. Do you do you just ah? He died. 
to burn it. At the table, we aren't allowed to sit down or speak unless spoken to. We aren't allowed to dance or have that much fun. If we're caught being bad, we get beaten. Spare the rod, spoil the child. That's what our elders say.